Well, David, what did you want? A boy or a girl? I don't mind. Just as well. You've got one of each. Twins. Good morning, Patricia. Hello, Mrs. Thompson. Clean nappies. How can I look after a child by myself? I look after him. Until you get on your feet. What's his name going to be? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> You're the father. How about... John? John. John Palmer. But I think I convinced him that I didn't uh, help him run away like that. Do you believe John killed that man, David? I don't know. Maggie, it's Patricia Hamilton. Welcome home. How was Greece? <laughs> oh, wonderful. Now, listen, darling, you've arrived home just in time for Angela's birthday party. Open! <laughs> Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's all yours. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Happy birthday, Daddy. Happy birthday, Johnny, darling. Well, that does it. You and I are going on the town. Aunt Fiona, I'm on the run, remember? What if I'm recognised? Darling, by the time I've finished with you today, your own mother wouldn't recognise you. Yeah, well, go on. You've always had this dream. Something's wrong. <laughs> what do you mean, something's wrong? I, I don't know. She's hurt. She mustn't die. She mustn't die. Will you relax? The doctor said it's probably only concussion. Yeah. He said you didn't know her. I don't. It's not the way it looked to me. I dreamt about it. Sounds crazy, huh? Yeah. I'm not kidding. I kept dreaming about this girl on a horse. It was a family joke. But all the time it was her. Angela Hamilton. That's why I freaked when I saw a photo in the paper. Yeah, well, look, we might as well go. I mean, she's not going to be able to see anyone for ages. I'll wait. Hi. Hi. The doctor said you found me. Yeah. Uh, your mother's on her way. The hospital phoned her. The horse. It's okay. Someone caught it. I, d I don't know your name. I'm sorry. Um, Scott. Scott Edwards. I'm lucky you came along. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, darling. Are you all right? <laughs> you know me. It takes more than a bump on the head to put me out of action. <sighs> I told your father not to give you such a spirited horse. It wasn't the horse. The saddle slipped or something like that. Yes, well, we'll see. And um, I don't think we've met. Oh, this is Scott Edwards, mother. The one who found me. How do you do? Hi. If you'd like to leave your address, I'm sure my husband would like to thank you personally. Don't worry. Uh, can I see you again? I'd like that. Give me a call. Sure. I'll see you soon, then. Bye, Mrs. Hamilton. Darling, I can understand that you're very grateful to the boy, but uh, I 
think it's wrong to encourage him like that. <sighs> well, you don't know anything about him, his background, where he's from. Yeah. Thanks, Mrs. Todd. Tobin, I'll call back later. Bye. Not home? No, he's been out looking for work. His mum said he only has to mention Selma's name and nobody wants to know. Oh, a few days and it'll all blow over. Will it? I wonder if John knows what he's done to us all. Bill's out of job, the neighbours have stopped talking to us, now Kevin's in trouble. Oh, why waste my time? When I see Bill, I'm calling off the wedding. Oh, where's that nurse? It's an hour since I asked her to see about a private room. It's all right. Oh, it's bad enough that they're keeping you here overnight. Didn't she sell the beds before? No, I asked her to check. Oh, they're not going to get a scrap of rest in here. Well, I'll speak to the head of the hospital if necessary, but you're getting your own room. I hope she doesn't find one. I've never been given such a run around. Why would they bother oh, lying? I don't know, but they were determined to be unhelpful. Well, no, it won't hurt her. Oh, that's not the point. The, fact the point is, is, is that she's... she's all right. She seemed perfectly happy when I spoke. I her. want her out of there first thing in the morning. I've arranged to pick her up. Good. She's got the ridiculous idea of seeing that boy again. Hmm? The one who took her to the hospital. What's wrong with that? Oh, Gordon, you didn't see him. He's very... Scruffy, if either of you take his call, I want you to politely put him off. Oh, be fair, Patricia. He made it quite clear he's not interested in the reward. Why should she bother seeing him again? Well, she's obviously grateful, and if she's made the effort to be nice to him, well, good on her. Well, if you don't trust my judgment. What harm can it do? And another thing. I won't have her riding that horse again. We'll see. I think Angela got in first. You always let her wrap you around a little finger. What a father's for. What sort of a day do you have? A shopping run back after that freeway. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it. Let him go, love. The kids have been getting at him about John at school. These are much better at the depot. Well, look in on him, will you? Well, is there time before tea? It'll be a while yet. <sighs> you want me to pack it in, huh? I thought you were going to bite my head off. Spoil the tea. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. with all that publicity still going on. I hoped you'd cool down. That's why I didn't tell your father you'd change your mind. Every crank in the area will be at the church gawking. Oh, I know it's not easy, love. But believe me, on the day, you'll only have eyes for Bill. You won't care who's hanging around the church making a nuisance of themselves. I'd like to think that, Mum, but how can I with all that publicity still going on? Gravy. The day I married your father, it was as hot as all get out. 102 in the shade and half of Ararat were there. 
plus all the truckies I knew from working in the cafe. <laughs> they turned up to form a guard of honour we could have well done without. Didn't half have a go at me. Because they knew how I'd been after your dad since the first time I saw him. We're well, gonna let him get away, huh? No fear. The hard part was getting him to notice me in the first place. Well, your dad wasn't like the other truckies when I first met him. Well, they were all as bold as brass and they'd cheek you as soon as look at you. If he was that serious and quiet, I couldn't get two words out of him. <laughs> the things I got up to trying to get him to notice me. I shortchanged him, gave him too much change, extra helpings, you name it, anything to get him to notice me. What finally did the trick was an accident. I was pretty upset about a boy that uh, Mum and Dad were keen on me getting engaged to. And uh, I suppose my mind must have been miles away, but I was at work carrying the biggest pavlova you ever saw right up to the main counter. And then what does Awkward Annie do? S spilt it up right down the front. Oh, of the no. <laughs> I felt such a fool. I just stood there and cried and cried. And that's when your dad came over. He made me go and clean myself up, sit down and have a cup of coffee with him. And I poured out all my woes, and he listened. It was really nice. That's how it all started. So, you see, on the day, there was nothing a few yahoos could do to spoil our wedding. And it'll be the same for you the day you marry Bill. Isn't just that, Mum. Any problems there are, you can sort out together. Okay, I'll think about it. Thanks. Oh, it's Habit. Is it a place for John? Hi. Sorry I'm late, Johnny. Scott. I must remember that. Ran into a few old cronies in town and I missed the ferry. Well, and how was your day? <laughs> Went for a drive with Jill. Oh, I'm glad you two hit it off. <laughs> I hope that old bomber purse didn't break down. No. no, in fact, it came in very handy. Sorry about the mess. Oh. The girl fell off a horse and we took her to hospital. That's not the most interesting part, though. Oh, what? I've been talking to Jill about her in the morning. The picture was in the paper. Fancy that. Oh, I'll show you. Her name's Angela Hamilton. That's her. <laughs> She's asked me to call her. I don't want you calling her. I don't want you to have anything to do with her. You don't know her? I know of her. Her family are very wealthy and influential. What's that got to do with anything? I shouldn't have to remind you you're on the run from the police. You were the one who encouraged me to get out. Don't seem too worried about me knowing Jill. Jill is different. Don't think the Hamiltons won't check up on any young guy who's going around with their daughter. We're not going around. We just met. Good. Leave it that way. What are you up to? Oh, it's for Angela. She won't want to be cooped up in her room all the time. How about a drink before turning in? Oh, yes, please. I was furious with her by the time I got to the hospital. But when they rang and told me that she'd had an accident, I thought I was going to faint. I don't know what I'd do if something really serious had happened to her. letters to write. I think I'll take this up to my room. Get on with it. See you in the morning. Mm. Scott's still asleep. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'll look in on him. <laughs> We had a bit of a Barney last night. You know, about that Hamilton girl. I'd like to get it all sorted out before I go out. Watch it, Charlie.
Scott. Scott. I hope you realize the trouble you've caused, young lady. I'm going to be late getting into town, huh? I'll drop you off on the way to the office. Oh, good. I'll get ready now. There goes the best part of an hour. I'd like you to collect Angela's horse from the man who caught it and give him that small thank you. Gordon, I meant what I said about that horse. It threw her once, it could happen again. Don't blame the horse for having good taste. I told you it was my fault. We'll argue about it when the horse is back. I'll send young Jeff. There's, there's a lunch at the... I asked you to handle it. How long have I got? Well, there's some work I can do here, but uh, no later than 11. Fine. Too bad about your lunch. You might have had to have put in a decent day's work for a change. I'll tell you all about it. Hello? Can I speak to Angela Hamilton, please? I'll see if she's well enough to come to the phone. It's uh, one of your gentleman friends. Nicole. Yes. Hello. Angela, it's Scott Edwards. I thought it'd be you. Yeah. Well, hoped. What about seeing each other? Mm. Well, I'd love to, but everyone around here is treating me like an invalid. I can't go out today. Can can you come up here? Sure. Only I got the feeling your mother wouldn't be too wild about seeing me again. Well, don't worry. We'll have the place to ourselves for a while. Can you make it up to Jewel? I think so. Well, if you hurry, we'll have some time together. See you soon then. Bye. Okay. Bye. <sighs> um, you busy this morning? <laughs> Thanks, Jill. I'll, I'll get a bus back. If the owner asks. I won't lie to her. Maybe she won't ask. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll leave you to it then, eh? See ya. Time's Dr. Roberts calling. No idea. I thought she had to go out. <laughs> you mean you don't want the company? <laughs> That's probably him now. I doubt it. Ah, uh, is it one of your other friends? <laughs> Hi. I'm Scott Edwards. Uh, Angela's expecting me. I see. Hi. Hi. Bringing you them into the house I now. I know him. He's just my brother. Thanks for the introduction. Wayne, huh. like a drink? Um, no, thanks. What line of business are you in, Scott? Um, I'm on holidays. <laughs> what do you do when you're not on holidays? Well, the last job I had fell through, so I'm looking for a new one. Oh, what was well, your Scott last job? Scott found me when I fell off the horse. Ah, so this is the guy. The Hamilton family will be forever in your debt. Forget it. And what brings you over here today? I invited him. I think we might be more comfortable by the I'm pool. Sorry, where did you say you were from? I didn't. I think we will go to the pool. On our own. Don't you have an errand to run? The horse, remember? I suppose I should be trotting along. We must have a good long chat some other time. Hmm. Behave yourselves while I'm away. This is a nice place. Don't worry about Wayne. He tends to give everybody the third degree. Doesn't matter. Anyway, we should have the place to ourselves for a little while. Good. <clears throat> so, how are you? Not too bad. The old bruise. You really gave me a scare yesterday. I've been riding since I was six. The one thing I know is how to fall off a horse. Maybe we could go riding sometime. Yeah. I mean, that is if my mother doesn't mind. She uh, has a thing about horses. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm not really used to this. What are you used to? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not trying to pump you. We can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Well, well let's start with you. Okay. What do you want to know? Hi. Hi, yourself. Thanks for tidying up. 
have the bank manager go? He always did like my legs. <laughs> I got a cash advance. How else do you suppose I got all this? Wow. Where's Scott? Oh, he's out. He got me to drop him off somewhere. Where? Not that girl's again. Not the Hamiltons. What's wrong with that? Everything. Just everything. Oh, that's amazing. And your birthday's on the 14th, mm -hmm. too. Well, what time we born? I don't know. Well, my aunt might know. What's she like? Well, I guess she's not like any other aunt. <laughs> she's fantastic. You'd have to see her to believe her. Can I? Meet her. I don't see why not. But it'd be nice. Besides, I'd like to see you again. You never get any peace around here. We could find somewhere quieter. <laughs> see what I mean? That'll be the doctor. When can I see you again? Sooner the better. Tomorrow? Yeah. Can I get out that way? Mm. Thanks for today. Thank you. I'll call you in the morning. <laughs> love we Bye. 